Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. You are watching a live netcast of our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never seen this before, we cover the areas of eastern Tennessee, northern Mississippi, and west, well, west Tennessee, east Arkansas, northern Mississippi, and everything south of the Missouri Boot Hill down to around middle Mississippi. This is our opportunity to give you what's going on with the weather in the Mid-South area. Please drop your location and and more importantly, your weather reports into the comments section down below. And thanks a lot to everybody for joining us. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, wreg.com slash weather. Current conditions in the Mid-South right in the backyard, 75 degrees with winds light out of the northeast for right now. Rest of the day today, again, the forecast bar here showing mid-80s with showers and thunderstorms developing. About a 50% coverage chance expected into the rest of the day today. So decently on the mild side out there, warm and humid later on today. Forecast Forecast for tonight, not much better than the lower 70s across much of the area, so a very warm and muggy day coming up. Sultry tonight with more chances of showers and thunderstorms. We'll talk more about the complete forecast coming up here in just a little while, so stay tuned for more on that. Like to see more about what's going on on Mars, we've got links to that at wreg.com slash weather. This was the report from the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station on the Curiosity Rover. If you'd like to see more about what the weather's been doing there for a while, on Wednesday, the latest report we have, it was 12 degrees above zero for a maximum temperature and a minimum temperature of 106 degrees below zero. If you'd like to see more about this directly on your computer screen, all you have to do is go to mars.nasa.gov to find out more about what's going on on the red planet and how we can advance science by promoting that and seeing a little bit more about what's going on out into the solar system. Currently, again, we're seeing chances of rainfall here and there across much of the Mid-South. Sorry about the screen freeze. We are live on Periscope and Twitter here, and that'll be changing here in just a little bit as the data begins to catch up. Radar just past hop of the hour is showing again a little bit of light showers back across the Missouri boot heel and some of that stretching all the way back across West Tennessee in the form of very light sprinkles dropping on through. But a lot of the activity you're looking at here into around Northeast Arkansas, that's where we're seeing the heaviest activity right on in through the Missouri boot heel. Not even any lightning with this, so we don't have too much of anything to report in the way of severe weather. As a matter of fact, at this time, we don't have anything whatsoever for right now so that's good news but if you have any plans for being outdoors this is what you're going to have to deal with over the course of the rest of the day so please a little bit of cloud cover drifting across the area of Memphis things are relatively quiet otherwise no rainfall to report here in the overnight hours this particular shot from the weather underground system this view from Ole Miss campus from the Crosby Hall construction cam available at olemiss.edu if you'd like to see more of their cameras around the Oxford Mississippi campus available here more of our webcam like the view from Germantown, Tennessee on the water towers just north of Germantown High School, looking back toward the area in and around the towers of East Memphis and temperature of 75 degrees at City Hall this morning, humidity at 84%. More heat advisories possible in the next several weeks and months as we get into that very hot time of the year. Temperatures will be rising over the next several hours, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s. We will see chances of showers and thunderstorms, about 20% coverage chance early on, but more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms will linger into the rest of the day and especially toward this afternoon. That's where the possibility really starts to head upwards again of about maybe 30% into the rest of the afternoon and evening. So this is going to be the shape of the forecast throughout the rest of the day. Can you keep your outdoor plans today? Sure. I don't think that's a problem if you remember that you have to get back indoors again whenever there's lightning around. If you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by lightning. The lifeguards at the pool, they're not trying to annoy you they're trying to save your life when they order everybody out of the pool so that's something to remember if you can see lightning out there definitely want to get to shelter and stay there just to be on the safe side rest of the day today those early showers we just showed you on radar will be making their way back out of the picture back to the north of us and then continuing to move back to the north but then later on this afternoon we will see more chances of showers and thunderstorms blossom across the area and especially into around dinner time tonight, peak heating time of the day, the sun has been cooking the lower levels of the atmosphere, and that gets it a little bit more unstable. And that's where we'll see the bulk of showers and thunderstorms blossoming across the area. Now, some of those could linger into around News Channel 3 at 10. Again, we could see, again, a few sprinkles shaping up into around West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and eastern parts of Arkansas. Not much expected overnight outside of a stray sprinkle, maybe a rumble of thunder. More chances of showers starting to redevelop 
develop as we get into very early tomorrow morning and then throughout the afternoon tomorrow more widespread showers and thunderstorms so technically today would be better than tomorrow for getting anything done outdoors those showers and thunderstorm chances will linger right on in through the afternoon and evening hours and could quite possibly stick around throughout news channel 3 at 10 on sunday so better chances of rain tomorrow less technically of a chance today but still possible for outdoor activities gonna have to watch that severe weather threat at this time basically non-existent for the mid-south we are seeing a severe weather threat well back to our north including for the great lakes north of chicago back across portions of minneapolis and into the upper peninsula of michigan not for the mid-south seen right down here at the bottom of your screen that severe weather threat will remain north of us from just north of st louis a marginal threat all the way back over to upper new York State and then the Great Lakes and that will move its way into around the East Coast states heading toward New England and down toward portions of the Appalachians and the Shenandoah as we get into around the late portions of Monday in parts of the Mid-South. Now through the rest of the day again isolated showers and thunderstorms becoming a little bit more widespread as we get into later this afternoon and this evening. Not a huge threat but it is still going to be possible once again. Shower and thunderstorm chances will remain in the area across much of the Mid-South into tomorrow and again on Monday. So if you have any outdoor plans, that is going to be the main threat as we get into the next couple of days. But as we get closer to around the area of next week, the first full week of June, temperatures drop a little bit. We'll see a little bit less heat, a little bit less humidity, and then we also see some temperatures very nice for this time of the year, lower 80s, less of a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Unfortunately, if you take a look at Friday, that's where we see again the temperatures kind of bouncing back upwards again back into the mid to upper 80s so we'll continue again to see the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms across much of the mid-south late next weekend and also for much of this this weekend in between here and there things are looking relatively quiet so no major problems being seen so far we will continue again to monitor this so stay tuned for more one way you can stay tuned for what's going on with weather in the mid-south get our app go to whatever platform you've got and search wreg weather on your app store app or wherever you get your apps from and you can keep up to date with what's going on with weather in the mid-south very easily more on my forecast monday through friday mornings with bob and josh on talk back live sports chat on am 730 yahoo sports radio and don't forget about going to all these various social media websites and we'll keep you updated on that periscope and twitter you know about that obviously you're here right now facebook instagram google plus wordpress youtube tumblr and eventually as soon as i figure out how to get it on game boy i'll let you know about that also available uh, uh, for SoundCloud if you want to know a little bit more about what's going on with the forecast there. Again, decently quiet across much of the Mid-South. We'll have an update on your forecast coming up here in just minutes on the last hour of News Channel 3 Daybreak. We'll have updates throughout the rest of the weekend here at WRAG.com slash weather and again on all those social media networks that you see out there. Fairly warm and sultry day with temperatures again back in the mid-80s for those of you who have just tuned in. Very mild for later on tonight. Temperatures in the high 60s to lower 70s and isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms will be possible throughout much of the forecast into the rest of the weekend so if you have outdoor plans yeah go ahead and keep them but remember you got to get back indoors again when those thunderstorms are around because if you can see the lightning or hear the thunder you are within range of getting struck by that lightning i'll keep you up to date as to what's going on with the weather throughout the rest of the weekend so stay tuned for more there and stay tuned for more with news channel 3 on air and online throughout the next several days for your forecast updates live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Saturday morning, June 3rd.